Hello and welcome to Random Thoughts and Observations, Manian Devil Productions. I'm your host, David E. McClendon Sr., and today we're going to discuss the book Low Country Bordello, a Liz Talbot Mystery by Susan M. Boyer. But first, a word of prayer. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for all the many blessings you bestowed upon us. Thank you for all the YouTube watchers, all of our blog followers, all of our blog readers, all of our subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for all the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. Thank you for the people that we've been able to meet via the blogs and the YouTube channels, the authors, the publicists, and others, the um, bloggers and uh, YouTube people as well. Please bless us all. Please help our different endeavors to be blessed and everything to work out for us. If there's anyone out there seeking to find you, please help them to find you. It's in Christ's most holy and most precious name that we pray. Amen. Well, we're going to discuss Low Country Bordello, a Liz Talbot Mystery by Susan M. Boyer. And Susan M. Boyer is a USA Today best-selling author. And let me tell you, you know, she deserves that title because um, it's very good. Well, now the book is um, based sort of in a bordello. Now, that's a body house. Um, there are other names for it, but uh, we don't need to get into that. And the thing about it is that it doesn't go into detail like that. You know, it's based there, but there's not that much. Um, a Christian could read this and not be offended. We're Christians, very staunch Christians, very um, devout Christians, and we don't see that there's a problem with uh, the whole bordello thing. And in fact, it's a little bit funny. Um, we think that uh, the setting is uh, interesting. We think the way that they set it up is interesting. It does all take place there. Um, and it doesn't go into any real details about what goes on there. Of course, if uh, you want to put some imagination to it, you probably could, but that's up to you. We love this book. We think that it is very entertaining. Um, we think that uh, in most of these uh, Talbot books, that uh, you're not really going to figure out who did it. And in the case of most of these, you've got two or three, in some cases five or six people, that uh, could have done it. You got, uh, maybe even there wasn't a crime committed, you know, maybe that's possible, maybe the um, there wasn't a murder, maybe there wasn't a robbery, maybe there wasn't whatever. That's possible throughout the book in some of these books, and in other of these books, the uh, crime's been committed, but it's possible that it wasn't actually a crime, it was an accident, who knows. Anyway, um... It's not one of those books that you can have a formula because, you know, you read some of these mysteries and after you've read, read two of them, you know exactly what's going to happen, you know, um, before the book's over with, you know, well, in the last book, so-and-so did it, so it looks like a different name, but the same basic character, they did it. Well, it ain't the same basic characters, even though some of the characters go from one book to the other, actual names and places, um, it's not that way. And when you throw in a guardian spirit and some ghosts and that sort of thing, it ain't going to be the same, I promise you. And what we love about this book, and at the same point in time what we hate about these books, is that uh, they talk about all the wonderful southern food. Now, when you're on a beans and rice kind of budget where, you know, beans and rice and maybe eggs and uh, grits are uh, what you get to eat, and you're reading about uh, fried chicken and biscuits and gravy and green beans and... Uh, shrimp and grits and all these wonderful southern delicacies, delicacies you sit by saying, wow, I just get away from the food. I'm so hungry thinking about this and your mouth is watered. And uh, Boyer has a way of, you know, actually making you taste these foods while you're uh, reading the book, making you actually picture being there with the family while they're dining, actually being a part of the family. You can actually figure out, hey, you know, like, me and Frank Talbot, you know, we could probably, you know, we'd hang out, you know, if we were, you know, together. We, we'd be the kind of person I'd hang out with and have fun with. Uh, I mean, what's not fun about a rat shooting? I mean, think about it. Um, it's just that interesting. The uh, um, love interests, the different uh, situations going on. It's very entertaining. It's very well written. It is very engaging. We think the book is... Uh, um, worthy of all five stars and probably more. We think that uh, it's very entertaining and uh, exciting. It draws you in. I generally, with these uh, Boyer books, I read them in one sitting and stop long enough to go to the restroom and maybe wolf down something to eat, but you know, pretty much one sitting. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoy it. I think you will. If you read the book and you like it, uh, or even if you read the book and you hate it, I can't imagine that happening, but if you were to read the book and you hate it, 
please drop us an email at regindiesvideos at gmail.com. That's G-I-N-D-Y-S-V-I-D-E-O-S at gmail.com. If you think that this review has been helpful, please give us a helpful here on Amazon. If you don't, please go ahead and vote your conscience. Um, if you like us, let us know. Like us on uh, YouTube. Um, please follow this channel if you would, or subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Follow this blog. Thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Gindy, it sounds like a good book. It's a very good book. I, I think I'd really like it because, like, I'm dead. <laughs> yes, I know you're dead. And, like, me, me and Colleen, like, we could hang out. We could be buds, you know. Uh, I could help her solve some of these mysteries. You could. Yeah, she's older than me, though, because, like, I'm just a little boy. And uh, she could have been, like, my babysitter or something. Yeah, or your big sister. Yeah, that's cool. Anyway... I think people will like this book. I really did. And, uh, Gindy's kind of nuts over there. Uh, because he, he kind of messed up in that uh, last video. But we're going to let it go anyway. Anyway, people, if you like to see me, drop me an email or at seymourhamlet at gmail.com. That's the letter C, period, M-O-O-R-E, period, H-A-M-L-E-T, at gmail.com. I also got one of them Twipper things. You know that thing with the bird? That little blue bird? Uh, anyway... I got that funny little and sign, then the capital C underscore capital M O O R E capital uh, H A M L E T. And that it was a capital M, by the way. Uh, just look at the screen, and it'll tell you the screen. No screen. Look at the screen. Look, see the screen. Ah! Look at that. Okay. Well, look at the screen, and uh, it'll tell you what you need. And I thank you. This video made possible by Manian Double Productions.